Hey guys, this is Naveen here. I wish you a very happy new year 2021 to all of you and thanks Vinayak for giving me this opportunity to talk about for this QA inspirational talk and then to present some idea and views from my side. So uh, I have come up with a very small thing over here that today that how to improve your test automation knowledge because I'm coming from the test automation background but my roots are always QA. So my first advice guys that if you really want to become test automation please improve your QA skills are very very important improve your QA mindset improve your QA testing skills very very important to write a good test automation a logic good test automation framework if you really want to develop end of the day we all are QA and then we have to justify the quality we are responsible for the quality and either you are doing it manually or you are doing it through test automation so my advice is that whenever you want to learn any specific tool guys all the tools are great all tools are absolutely fine it's totally your choice maybe some some other factors would okay which tool is having more uh you know market capture in the market accordingly you can pick that particular particular tool but uh, I, I really support all the different tools every tool is having some unique feature and some really good thing to uh you know to solve your problem it depends what kind of problem that you have so my advice is that whenever you want to learn automation if you are learning some code based automation where you have to write the code guys so please improve your coding skills first improve your basics of programming i'm not saying okay you have to become a rock star in in programming you really need to solve some really complex logic or algorithms that you have to learn i'm not saying that i simply say that okay please try to learn the basis of programming that how to write a simple logic what are the different uh, syntaxes over there for example let's say you want to learn java so you should know that okay what is the basics of object oriented programming because tomorrow you have to use the same logic or same concepts when you design the framework also let's see for mobile automation or for ui automation or for any other automation tool that you want to use with java tomorrow you want to learn javascript and then you want to learn protector but before that you have to improve your javascript knowledge same thing with python or any other language so all the languages are absolutely fine if you can build up the logic if you can understand the code definitely guys learning a programming is not a big deal so the second thing i would like to say that okay let's see for example you want to learn any specific automation tool let's see uh, you want to learn selenium or you want to learn webdriver io or you want to learn apm or protector please try to learn from the basics try to follow a particular pattern and the sequence over there that okay yeah this is what i have to learn step by step don't directly jump into the very high level part and then some basic part and then some random uh, features that you are covering that with this approach you won't be able to comfortable with that particular tool i would advise you try to learn how exactly this particular tool is interacting with the browser what is the internal mechanism how exactly they are interacting with the elements what kind of actions we can perform what are different capabilities are there for the specific tool what are the limitations and to overcome those limitations what are the other uh, sources and other techniques are available in the market it's not like that okay guys we can automate 100% things 100% automation is a totally myth i'll be more than happy if you are trying to achieve 30 40% automation also if you have achieved that that will be a great advantage okay in your company but make sure that okay guys whatever you are writing in terms of test automation make sure the quality your test automation should test the application in terms of finding the bugs in terms of uh, uh, putting a good validations and your validation should give you the proper results over there that okay yeah this is what i really want to a uh, test so that i can save my time manually and save some manual hours over there so that my test automation coverage is taking care of the rows uh, respective regression test cases or whatever the sanity test cases that you have written this is something very important i would advise you please try to learn if you want to learn proper test automation framework try to learn first is programming second things about the tool and then the supportive frameworks are available in the market for example let's say you want to design a very good framework with respect to uh, java so you have to learn about your j unit at testng if you want to learn about javascript try to improve let's see try to learn about mocha jasmine grunt such kind of frameworks chai assertion such kind of frameworks are available in the market so that you can decorate your framework you can take care about and the maintenance of the framework will be very easy you can uh, systematically design your test cases you can use a proper test data over there with all these uh, uh, different techniques are available we don't need to we don't you don't need to create your own logic for test driven approach or for a behavior driven approach with respect to these uh, tools these certain frameworks are already available in the market try to learn those supportive frameworks another thing is that try to learn at least some one or two basic build automation tools for example a uh, maven how to work to work with a uh, gradle so that uh, you can tomorrow when you write a complete framework you can execute directly from the maven you can directly integrate with the jenkins server and then uh, running on the docker containers so proper build automation tool can be fit tomorrow into a ci cd pipeline also try to learn with this approach that will definitely help you learning only basics of selenium or only basics of test automation tool with the basics of java won't help you you have to improve your infrastructure knowledge also 
tomorrow if i said okay yeah you have to execute your test cases let's see on docker containers you should know how to set up my infrastructure with the help of dockerized grid on maybe on a specific cloud maybe on microsoft azure or aws or maybe on a google cloud platform i want to use for that how sh you should know how to integrate with the complete uh, devops a uh, ci cd pipeline so that the moment uh, any check in is happening automatically my automation test code uh, will be triggered either the sanity or regression and then it will generate the report and publish the report accordingly so learning the basics design is absolutely fine but now you have to raise the bar high to improve some other things in terms of infrastructure in terms of uh, a deployment in terms of ci cd pipeline in terms of dockerized uh, a selenium grid server let's say i want to execute my test cases on the different uh, on the multiple machines with respect to cross browser or cross a uh, platform testing so these are the important factors guys these days what i see that people are just uh, learning just for the sake of uh, cracking some basic level of interviews guys interview definitely you can crack <clears throat> any time you can prepare and you just need to clear two or three rounds of interview that's fine the actual thing the actual life will start when you actually working in a specific project and when your team member and your management is expecting to improve the quality of the test automation or write the test automation from the beginning that is what you have to improve that is what you have to learn so please make sure that okay you are not compromising the quality concept the qa concept over there which is very very important do not write the code just for the sake of writing the code that's why most of the people they put the complaint over there that okay my test automation is not working properly and then my test automation is totally dead and then we don't have any resources to uh, maintain that because we could not follow the proper approaches over there we could not follow the uh, best practices over there to uh, to automate the things so just because of because you were lacking in that particular knowledge for the final point guys i would like to say that okay if you are learning any specific any specific tool or any specific technology or uh, any kind of test automation tool that you want to learn please try to spend your time try to spend your energy give some time do not hesitate for the invest view i would say that it will definitely give you a return it will definitely give you a output in the near future for sure about it okay there are a lot of platforms are available i'm not saying that okay everywhere you have to uh, spend some money or training for that but if it is really required please do not hesitate to learn the things just for the sake of some small amount of money right that i'm not saying that okay you have to attend some training or something like this it's totally up to you please try to review about the uh, training about the courses about the platform and then you just start learning spend some time give your energy and then definitely there will be a good uh, you know return on investment on that particular training or for that particular time that you have spent there are uh, so many resources so many youtube channels are available uh, udemy courses are available so many online teaching platforms are there good community is available we have a stack overflow Uh, groups are available facebook group linkedin a lot of uh, conferences are happening around the world people are joining people are presenting people are doing some really great work try to learn from these experts try to learn from your colleagues from your friends and then share your knowledge with the community it's all about give and take from last so many years that we been taking from the community we are not giving anything back to the community i think you should always spend something somewhere you have to give it back to the community as well So my advice is that guys whenever you want to learn something please make sure that okay you are maintaining your quality maintain your quality basic qa roots and then try to learn with that particular mindset so with this note i wish you again a very happy new year again i'm pretty much sure you will be learning a lot of good things in 2021 and uh, if you need any kind of help guys i'll be available and uh, you can contact me through navin automation labs youtube channel and uh, you have any question you can put in the comment section also i'll definitely try to reply you over there you can connect me you can search with navin kurida on linkedin also i would definitely uh, try to solve your problems and we can have some basic chit chat or maybe we can meet over a coffee or something take care guys and i again wish you all a very happy new year and once again thanks to vinayak for giving me this opportunity to present something from my side till then take care and have a great day